Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about plastids. What are plastids? So first of all, I will explain about plastids. Then we will see the types and then their functions. So if we want to understand plastids in simple words, we can say these are the cell organelles which have pigments. So if we see plants, they have different colors, green, flowers are different colors and vegetables and fruits are different colors. So these colors are given by these cell organelles which are called plastids. So if we see the definition of plastids, we can say plastids are the largest double membrane semi-autonomous cell organelles which contain pigments and these are found in the cells of plants and algae. So these are not found in animal cells. These are found in plants and algae. You know algae are also green color cells, plant cells which grows in the damp areas. So that also have plastids. So plastids as we understood that are the largest cell organelles and they have double membrane. So they have two membranes one is outer membrane and then one is inner membrane so these are the double membrane semi-autonomous semi-autonomous means they have their own dna ribosomes so they can produce their own proteins which are utilized by themselves to perform different functions and they can divide themselves by self-replication and produce their own copies. So that's why they are called semi-autonomous because they have their own DNA ribosomes by which they can produce some proteins which are utilized by them and they can divide themselves and have the ability to make their copies themselves. So that's why we are calling them semi-autonomous cell organelles and they contain pigments. So these are the organelles which has different color pigments. That's why they are called color containing cell organelles. So there are three types of plastids. Number one is chloroplast. These are green in color and responsible for photosynthesis. So these are the green, green color plastids which are present in the leaves of the plant and they are responsible for photosynthesis that means they are responsible for manufacturing the food. And second type is chromoplast. These are colorful plastids. These are different colors which gives colors to the flowers, fruits and vegetables. Because of these plastids, vegetables, flowers and colors look beautiful and colorful. Like red color of the roses is because of this chromoplasts. So the, their main function is to provide the color, bright color to the flowers, fruits and vegetables. And number third is leucoplast. These are colorless plastids. Their main function is to store 
द फूड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्टार्च एंड फैट सो दीज थ्री टाइप ऑफ प्लास्टिक्स आर देयर क्लोरोप्लास्ट क्रोमोप्लास्ट एंड ल्यूकोप्लास्ट क्रोमोप्लास्ट आर रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फोटोसिंथेसिस और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ द फूड एंड क्रोमोप्लास्ट इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द कलर ऑफ द फ्लावर्स फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स एंड ल्यूकोप्लास्ट विच आर कलरलेस एंड दे आर रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द स्टोरेज ऑफ फूड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्टार्च एंड फैट सो होप यू अंडरस्टूड अबाउट प्लास्टिक्स If we summarize, plastids are the cell organelles which contain pigments, and they are responsible for the manufacturing of the food, giving colors to the plant, and storage of the food. So, and three main types of plastids are chloroplast, chromoplast, and leucoplast. And the so main functions of the plastids we can say. number 1 is manufacturing food by chloroplast number 2 is giving colors to fruits veggies and flowers and number 3 is storage of food so these are the three main function of the plastids and we understood that these main functions are performed by different plastids like manufacturing is performed by chloroplast giving color is color is performed by chromoplast and food storage is done by leucoplast so hope you understood the about the plastids thank you see you in the next video